Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, Luke the Great here again with another episode of Scrap Mechanic! And yes, we are back! And I'm smelling the flowers. Oh, Scrap Mechanic flowers smell so good, guys. I forgot how good that smell! Okay, I really don't smell it. It's a computer. There's no smell of vision. But yeah. Anyway, I made an RV. Uh huh. It's pretty cool. Let's check it out! Alright, now this RV is more than an RV. It's well, it's one of those like big bus style RVs and I made the uh, unfoldable house which was a lot of fun and I really really enjoyed uh, trying to think out how I could fold everything in and this is a lot less complicated than that but it actually moves and it's really cool it drives around just like an RV now there is some frame issues because scrap mechanic still isn't perfect and I still built it pretty complicated so when I drop it oh I'm gonna drop it we are at 15 FPS, uh, 15, 14, not so great, but it does get a lot better quick. So let's check this thing out. I love the way this thing looks. It's a full on RV. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look like one of those bus RVs. Recreational vehicle, super RV with secrets, with more. Check this out. So the door's here. And I really love the way whoop, the door opens double hinge sort of so it actually it becomes also the steps to get up That's really cool. I like I like the way that worked out And then you get right up in here and then you can walk up into the cockpit with lots and lots of windows lots of room and Tell me this doesn't look like a cockpit for a bus or a van or something like that or like a tractor trailer because that's what it was modeled after. I love it. And yes, I am using the car interior parts mod, which is really cool. So I get a lot of really cool parts from that, including this. Ha 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 ha, with the horn, ha ha. And of course, this is the seat, the custom seat. Oh, I gotta get in here. There we go. So custom seat. And when you steer, the steering wheel steers, because I mean, that's the way things should be, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay. All right, and then when you get up, you don't go through the roof, which I always hate when you go through the roof when you get out of vehicles, when you get out of seats. But the custom seat doesn't do that because there's plenty of headroom and it's all good. And this thing drives around like a bus. Oh, and the first person is great on this thing. And I'm actually using modded engines, two modded engines. So, oh God. So this thing is actually really fast if you just, Floor it. Oh god. Oh, we're skidding Zoom it out. See what we're doing. Oh, this thing is I think it's pretty fast Let's get back to another flat area Yeah Okay Good. This looks like a good place to camp So all the buttons we've got button one, which is that door button two which is lights all the way around. They're in the rear too, but you really, you can't really see them from this seat. But there are rear lights. No blinkers or anything. I didn't really have a lot of space in this to add that stuff. If I really, really wanted to, I could cram it in like underneath somewhere, but I just, I didn't. So, so there. Uh, so that's two. Number three is the horn. Number four is the radio, if you can hear it. I think you can hear it, yeah, whatever. And then number five. Well, first we also have to show you this. Wait, I am gonna get to five, of course. This one isn't hooked up to the seat, but it's the, oh, that's open, there you go. It's the hood, or so you can get into the engine bay, and that's exactly, <laughs> so I have two of the modded engines here. So you got the power that you need to move this thing around. And I actually made like a little engine bay in front, and the horns, that's what you heard, they're stuck to the roof of the, uh, the grill, I guess. I don't know. So that opens up and that's just kind of a fun thing. So when the door is open, you can easily just actually click on this. Oh, from right. Bloop. Come on. C click on you. There you go. And close that up. And there you go. All right. So now we're down to two FPS. Oh my God. This thing really needs, it wants to open. So to open it is number five when you're sitting in this or it's just this switch. It's the same switch. There's number five and all kinds of stuff happens. 
And for some reason, I, I tried the best I could. I'm still getting some sticking issues, but if you, if you reset it, if you reset it somehow by like just triggering, all I'm doing is like unpainting this, just, it like, it lets the, uh, the, the game know is like, oh yeah, they're, we're supposed to be doing something now. So that's everything moved out and then you can move it back. It goes in a little easier usually. Just click on this a couple times. Click on stuff that doesn't have paint on it, like that, like the window that doesn't have paint. You click on it, and then it like slowly pulls itself in. It's so weird. Oh, uh, we're back down to 13 FPS. Now you can, when it's not extended, you can live in this a little bit. So you can get into the bathroom. Right now, it's just a tub. Just a tub. That's all. You can you can pee in the tub if you want. If you're into that, whatever. You can pee in the tub. You can take a bath and all that kind of stuff, and it still works as a tub. And then you've got this small little area. You can eat. You can sit in the sofa. You can watch TV. And then that's pretty much it, because this is blocked off. But when you open it, there's so much going on. All right, open up. That You saw the floor come up here, because this extended out. This one, this one wall doesn't want to go out for some reason. I don't know why. And then, of course, when you open this now, it's a full bathroom. Full, full, full-on bathroom. We've got a toilet. We've got the bathtub. We've got the sink. Everything is here. Everything works. You can sit in the toilet. Zoom in. Yes. And, of course, now you can see a little more. You can see that everything's extended out. So much fun. It came out so good. I'm a little stuck there. And then bubble bath. Bubble bath. Yeah, love it. Oh, now you got a little stuck in it. There you go. Ha 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 ha. So now you have a full, full kitchen. You've got the stove. You've got, and I am using the kitchen's interior and the dining room and like the, the bedroom mod. So I can make stuff that looks a little better and looks really cool. So you've got cups. We've got books we've got cool looking tables you've got a bedroom over here a normal size bedroom with one of the big beds that come in the kitchen in the bedroom mod kitchens and bed mod whatever and some cupboards and some lights all the lights work i love it lights of course lights and turn them off and you've got lights in the kitchen of course <laughs> ducky on the shelf you gotta have a ducky on the shelf so this is meant to be like the parents bedroom i guess and this is like the kids room so there's no wall there's no door for it but i mean too bad kids i don't know when you go when you go rving a lot of times it's just a curtain separating like beds but you've got the single bed down here which of course it works like a normal bed and then i've got another bed if you've got company haha -ha! there you go <laughs> and of course lights haha -ha! and we did those lights oh we got these lights up here haha -ha! and you can sit and watch tv yay and you can watch me watching tv so this thing doesn't extend out super super big but the way that i've crammed everything in here it looks a lot bigger on the inside than it really is it worked out great and then of course you have the top floor now there's no rooms up here but you can now just walk along the whole roof and it's awesome it's awesome i love it a little bit of a up tick here for the bathroom so you can get out of that tub just a little bit easier you saw i did get stuck in it but without that higher roof a little bit of a higher roof um it, it would have been terrible 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 let's turn this back off you shut up a cooking show yeah all right so that is the rv and i think it looks awesome it's great it's great and you can drive it and you can do all kind of stuff but i did say plus didn't i I said extra didn't i so this is all pretty high up in the frame if you're paying attention to like the dimensions and stuff so let's get back out and then let's go to this side where there are two more switches so you've got all that going up there this goes down into over the tires a little bit because that kitchen was sunken in and then the kids' bedroom was sunken in even farther. That's why it's super tall and you can fit two beds in there. But then you've got these, which are cars. Oh, wait, I'm, I was supposed to be a surprise. Wait, supposed to be a car. And oh, yeah, 
another car. <laughs> when you're going out on your RV, you can't drive the RV into certain areas. You need a little car to get around. So this is just a copy of the same car. You can modify these if you want. You can individualize them any way you want, but right now they are attached to this. All you have to do is just delete that one block. Now it's a total separate car. And it has the mini thrusters in it to keep it stuck down to the ground. And this thing is, it's almost a rock climber because it's got the thrusters pointing down. So it sticks itself to the ground. It's got suspension steering, the glitch steering. So it can just, so this is kind of a little mini build all in itself. And the other one is exactly the same. And this is great. So this is how you get around town. I guess it might be more of a go-kart because it's so small, but it needed to be kind of small to fit into this. And I love it, I love it, I love it. So, and you have two of them. And the easiest way, you can drive it right up on here again. Let me do that. Can drive it up here and you can, there you go. You can just leave it there and push the button and put it back. Oh, oh. FPS is still pretty good right now. We're at like 126. Come on. Uh, there we go. If you leave it there and then push this, it will go right in there. <clears throat> and it's just kind of held in there loose, but then you're gonna get some FPS drops, especially if you try to drive it. Well, not the little car, the big RV. So the better thing to do is to actually... Oh, let me get one. And again, I'm gonna do it with these blocks because it just makes more sense. And they're easily identifiable. Super easily identifiable. And what I did is just put one block there. So you know it's on the bottom. Go forward a little bit so you can hit the bottom of that with that and then you'll attach it right back to the block and now it's all part of the same thing again and you can chop it off again and you can do the same thing with this one and my throat is all hoarse I don't know why and drive this one around too and I love it 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 it's so much fun yeah oh Ooh, got a little close. <laughs> but these are great to drive around in. So enjoy the RV, guys. Enjoy the hell out of it. It's got a lot going on inside of it. It's got a lot going on on the outside of it. Oh, yeah, now we can see the lights. Uh, the rear lights just shining. Nothing crazy. And I did put a little something extra up here, too. Now, of course, you can get up here through here. Yeah, I took the, che the cheap way up. But I also put a seat here. So you can sit on top of a ladder and just kind of have fun. <laughs> and we got the AC unit, so it looks like an RV that actually has the AC plugged in. And you can see them poking through. So it looks like you've got some ventilation. <laughs> I love it. I think this thing came out great. It's not a transformer. Technically, it does transform in a way. But, and that can go back down. And it's more of a flat roof. And, and these stairs go to nowhere right now, but... I love the way this thing came out. I hope I hope you guys do too. Yeah. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure hit, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell so you get notifications when I add new videos in. When I put new videos on. Yeah. When I'm building all kinds of stuff like this. Let's let's drive it around like this. I don't know. Ooh, you know what? We're gonna We gotta pick those up to drive. So uh and uh and there are no buttons from the inside. I guess that you could easily hook those up to the seat if you wanted. But I kind of wanted you to have to get out and get your car. You don't want to be driving and having that, having those open. So now you can drive around. And the FPS is a hell of a lot better now also. It's just because when all those pieces are in close together, you're going to have more collision problems. But this thing is great. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes. <laughs> yep, leaving that. That's how we end it. Love it. Love it. I oh, love it. I love it. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> can you do this? I'm sure you can. It's pretty easy. But 
I hope you like this RV. Look for it on the workshop and have a good day. Have a good night. I love you and a goodbye.